Chapter 2 in Algebra 2, Linear Equations and Functions. 2.1, uh, Functions and Their Graphs. So we're going to talk about a relation. And a relation um, it is just a mapping or pairing of input values with output values. That's basically what a relation is. I will smash your face into a car windshield and then take your mother, Dorothy Mantooth, out for a nice seafood dinner and never call her again. So when we're talking about those relations and those mappings of things, um, we have domains. And a domain is a set of all inputs or all x's. Okay, so the x values that you have, all those x's are your domain. The range is all of the outputs, and that is all of the y values that you have. Okay, so x is what you're putting in, and um, y is what you're getting out. x is the domain, y is the range. So, a relation is a function if, and make sure you write this down, a relation is a function if every input goes to exactly one output. And this is actually very key, okay? Every input needs to go to exactly one output. In those circumstances, then your relation is a function. Also, there is one output for every input, so it's basically going back and forth. A function has one answer goes in, one answer comes out, and it goes both ways that way. It is not a function if an, an input goes to two or more outputs. So if I plug a number in, it actually gives me two different answers. Okay, an example of that might be something like a square root. The square root of 4, if I plug in a 4, what do I get? I get 2 and negative 2. I actually get two answers there. So the point that I'm getting at is uh, something like that would not be a function because it's getting positive and negative answers. You did it! Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee. Great job, everybody. It's great to meet you. Okay, so are these functions? Well, we take a look at this first one here. I have one input going to one output. Good. I have one input going to one output. Good. However, over here, I have one input going to two outputs. So this is not a function because I have one input going two places. However, over here, I have one input going to one output. I have one input going to one output. I have one input going to one output, and I have one input going to one output. So every one is going to one every one that's going in is going to one out. Please keep this in mind. I get it. Right? They're both going to one, but it doesn't matter that they're both going to one. It doesn't matter that if I plug in two different x's and I get the same answer. That doesn't matter. That is not the problem. The problem is if every input goes to one output. Yummy. So we start graphing. This is something that you already know. We have ordered pairs, and an ordered pair is made up of an x and y value together. So you need to keep that in mind. It is an x and a y together. So when I ask for a point, an actual point, we're getting two items, an x and a y. The vertical line test. If you draw a vertical line through a graph and it intersects the graph at one point, then your graph is a function. So you have a graph, if it intersects it at the vertical line intersects it at one point, then you have yourself a function. Okay, that's what you're keeping in mind there. If you draw a vertical line through a graph and it intersects the graph at two or more points, then the graph is not a function. So if I draw a vertical line straight through and it intersects it at two or more points, then it's not a function. Crazy fool. So graphing two variable equations. First thing is you can always make a table. That's very important for you to realize. We can make a table of values. Um, also, make sure in your table that you graph enough ordered pairs to see a pattern. Okay, you want to graph enough ordered pairs to make sure that you so graph enough ordered pairs to make sure that you see a pattern okay and by that I mean uh, roughly three to five you're gonna need at least three to five different points and you want to connect all the points to make a line or a curve so after you have all points there you want to draw a line or draw a curve and somehow connect all those points Okay, so when I come back here, we are going to work on just graphing and figuring out how we graph these. Um, 
this section was mainly for uh, information. Um, now when you come back in 2.1 we're going to actually try to graph some and use the points and figure out how we set up our table. We'll do all that when we come back.